Hey guys, how's it going? Richard here with Alien Bros. I hope you're all doing well. I've got some pretty amazing clips of UFO footage to share with you guys today. Most of them are kind of short compared to the clips I normally share with you guys, but I think you'll all find them to be rather perplexing and definitely worth examining. Afterwards, I have some news regarding a close encounter that I want to share with you guys that I found to be really rather intriguing regarding a military man. Now, the first piece of footage that I'm going to share with you guys was captured on March 18th of 2018 in Paraparamu Beach, New Zealand, and was posted by our friend over at the Hidden Underbelly 2.0 on March 23rd of 2018. I'll go ahead and play the footage for you guys that we could talk about it afterwards, alright? Here it is. Not moving at all. Alright, now, the first thing I did when I watched this video, as per the usual, is try to figure out what the heck it is I'm looking at in this footage and debunk it. However, also as usual, when I share a clip with you guys, it is always because I had a hard time coming up with a solid answer as to what this thing is, and that is again the case with this footage. I personally don't think it could be a flare or a drone. The way it hovers makes me feel like it is something out of the ordinary. Also, the way it fades out at the end only makes me feel even more certain that this is something that's just not normal. I have not heard of anything normal that's publicly known that has the properties and methods of action that this object has, and it really is amazing that such a clear video was captured. I am completely astounded. If you have any ideas on what this thing could be, then please leave your comments down below. We would love to hear from you. Okay, so moving on to the next piece of footage. This one comes from MUFON and was shared on March 24th of 2018, and it was captured over New York City from a window of a plane that was about to pull into land at the JFK International Airport. I find this piece of footage absolutely astonishing, and I think you'll see why. The case number, as always, will be down in the video description. Feel free to check it out for yourselves. I'll go ahead and play the footage for you guys now.
Alright, so I'm sure you guys can see why I chose to share this video with you all. It is one amazing piece of footage and quite frankly a beautiful shot of New York City to boot. Now, it appears to show multiple objects in this clip and I'm not quite sure what they are. I thought maybe they were reflections off of the airplane window, but after reading the witness's statement, I'm not so sure. I'll go ahead and read the witness's statement to you guys so that you will know why I'm questioning the validity of that theory. The statement reads, and I quote, I was filming a beautiful night view while my flight was landing to JFK International Airport. Unexpectedly, two weird light balls popped up. They chased each other and disappeared. It did not last long, and the other two light balls showed up with a trembling and upside down path. I couldn't believe they were UFOs at first, and I couldn't see them with my naked eyes. So I filmed the second video for an even longer amount of time, where nothing happened like the first one. I think it was not my camera's problem, and I captured the UFO video authentically. Now, I know many of you guys will try to discredit the witness's statement, however, I really like it when witnesses try to recreate and debunk their sightings, so I give these people a little bit more credibility than the norm. Of course, that doesn't mean the witness is correct, but I do indeed take their claims into account. Gathering data is the most important part of studying these UFO sightings, and in a case like this one, we need all the information there is in an attempt to solve them. The footage appears to show multiple objects, by my count there are six of them, however, only three of them appear to be solid, at least temporarily, until they almost seem to dissipate and disappear. Now, the reason I think that this is actually a solid object and not simply a reflection off the window pane is because of how the last solid one appears to enter the frame from the top of the window instead of appearing on the window as a reflection. I also find it odd that the witness was unable to recreate this scenario immediately afterwards because of the amount of unknown objects that the source filmed is simply too high for the source to be unable to recreate it if it were simply something like a reflection or any other mundane thing. I will say that I am unable to come to a conclusive answer as to what these things are, which is why I want to get input from you guys and to see if maybe one of you could tell me what it was that they filmed in this clip. As it stands, I'm out of ideas. Remember to leave your thoughts and theories on these things down in the comments, and if you have footage of the same objects, something similar, or more conclusive information about what these things are, then please send us an email with your sighting attached along with details, and we will work on figuring out the mystery of what these objects are. Alright, so next I have a sighting from Richmond, Virginia, and this was reported to MUFON as well. It was captured on June 6th of 2017 and appears to show something very strange. There are three clips, so I'm going to play them all as one for you guys to examine. Unfortunately, the person taking the video was driving at the time, and the video has some shakes and the object was hard for the cameraman to keep focus on. However, it is still some amazing and perplexing footage nonetheless. I'll go ahead and play you guys the clip and we can examine it together afterwards, alright? Here it is. What is that black thing in the sky right there? <laughs> is it a kite? It's kind of weird. It's moving, but I can't tell which direction. It's moving up. I, it's very strange. Alright, so I'm not sure why, but something about the sighting just made it stand out to me. It just has a weird vibe to it, and I'm not sure why, but I find it to be rather strange. The argument could be made that maybe what this guy filmed was a drone, however, I don't think that this is likely to be a drone. Taking the witness's statement into account again makes it even harder for me to simply discredit it. Before we continue, I'll read you guys the witness's statement. It's rather long though, so be prepared. The statement reads, On June 28th of 2017, I was helping family members move into a new house. At 2.37pm, I was driving back to their old house to pick up the next load when I noticed a stationary black object in the sky above the tree line in front of my car. The jet black object caught my eye because it stuck out conspicuously against the crisp blue sky. I immediately realized it was something out of the ordinary. Excited and perplexed, I stopped the car and fumbled to get my phone out to capture it on video. 
The object hovered silently and motionlessly in the sky. It appeared to ascend slightly and very slowly at one point. Otherwise, it did not move at all. A closer view of the video suggests it may also have rotated along its vertical axis, like a spinning top, but I did not see any rotation while watching it with my own eyes. It made no sound. It was shaped like an upside down cone or pyramid. It had a distinct sharp outline against the sky. It looked dense, heavy, and sturdy, not made of any flimsy or lightweight materials. It definitely was not a natural object, i.e. a cloud or bird. It looked mechanical, like some sort of machine, but it did not have any discernible features of an aircraft, i.e. wings, propellers, or tail, or anything else that can fly. It had no visible propulsion system or any other means of flight. It appeared shiny and shimmered somewhat, which I believe was sunlight reflecting off its surface. Otherwise, it did not emit any light. I asked the family member driving behind me if he saw the object. He did, and if he knew what it was, he did not. He was not as interested in the object as I was and drove away. After filming for about a minute, I also drove away, because we were on a tight schedule. I continued to watch the object as I drove and realized it was much higher up and farther away, and therefore much bigger than I initially thought. I recorded three videos. The first one at 2.37pm is through my windshield and unfortunately does not keep the object in frame very well. I captured the second video through my open window at 2.38pm, a few hundred yards down the road. I stopped again about a quarter mile further down the road to record the third video at 2.39pm after that. I continued to look at the object while driving but lost sight of it around 2.42 p.m. when trees along the road had obscured my view of the sky. The last time I saw the object, it was still hovering in the same spot where I first noticed it. I have speculated the object could have been a balloon, a kite, or a drone. I ruled out the first two options mainly because it did not behave properly to fit the theories. For example, pitch or pivot, like something that was tethered to the ground while flying. Although a drone is the most plausible explanation, I do not believe that this was a drone. The object was way too high, somewhere between 300 to 1,000 feet, and too large, at least 5 to 20 feet tall, to be a drone. At least not one that's available to the public. It was also too motionless for too long. It did not drift or tilt in the wind. It simply did not move. Even an experienced drone pilot probably cannot keep one completely still for several minutes in outdoor conditions. I do not contend that the object I saw was or was not extraterrestrial, and I honestly do not know what it was or where it came from, but I definitely saw something, a tangible object in the sky that I cannot identify or explain. That is the end of the witness's statement. Now, there are two reasons as to why I believe the witness's statement is rather credible despite his obvious lack of knowledge on the capabilities of custom commercial drones in terms of altitude capabilities. The first reason is that the source did not simply assume the object is something extraterrestrial and explicitly states that the source did not know what the object is rather than making assumptions. The second is that the source brought up a very good point as to why this may not be a drone and that is that the object does not make any visible movements whatsoever and that is something that really stood out to me as well. The source did try to find other options for what this thing could be, and personally, I can't figure it out either. If it is a drone, it's certainly a unique one, that's for sure. Remember to let us know what your theories are on this thing down in the comments. And as always, if you saw the same object, caught footage, or have more information on it, then please send us an email, and we can get one step closer to figuring out what the object we see in this footage actually is. Alright, next I have another MUFON UFO sighting for you guys, and this one comes from Colorado Springs, Colorado, and it was captured on March 3rd of this month. I'll go ahead and play you guys the footage, and we'll talk more on it afterwards, alright? Here's the footage. This light out here over the horizon, there was two lights, and then it turned into one, and then it keeps fading out, and then it, and then it comes back on. It's flickering, it's not moving, it stays in the same spot, and it looks like it's a... Uh, it's like orange. It looks like fire is what it looks like. Oh, there's a second one just came on. You see that? I have no idea what that is. But they're getting brighter. flickered out again. Now it just came on ab above it, the one that flickered. That is really weird. So the light was below it and if the lower one flickered out and then, and then the light came back on above it. Now there's a third one that just came on. Alright, bottom one just flickered back off again. And 
they are not moving, so that's the weirdest damn thing. in the sky. So I know the immediate response to this from many of you will be that this is flares, but before you come to that conclusion, allow me to please explain the reasons that I don't believe this could actually be flares, and there are a few of them. The first reason is the way that these objects slowly illuminate in one spot and stay there for an extended period of time, rather than being shot up with a traceable path of light or being dropped into place from any discernible altitude. In short, these things do not fit the book of your typical parachute flare or even as military flares. Now, factoring in the fact that they're a perfect circle and the cameraman gets us such a clear and focused shot at certain points in the video, it leads me to feel that these things simply did not fit the description of any flare that I have ever seen before. Now, the next logical conclusion would be to say that these things are drones. The way these objects appear to slowly light up without any sort of prior signal makes me think that they're not drones either. These objects also appear to stay rather still and then simply fade out, and they do not seem to be exhibiting any characteristics of the common commercial drone in flight. They seem to stand almost too still for too long for it to be something that a drone is capable of. Now, I will say I have no idea what these things are, and I'm not going to jump to conclusions about what they are either. I'm just having trouble debunking them, but it is entirely possible that they could be something military or maybe even ET, although I'm not saying that they are. And, as far as mundane explanations go that could point to a single member of the general public or a group of regular people being responsible for it, I'm out of ideas. That is why I'm sharing it with you guys. If you guys think you know what this thing is, then definitely let us know down in the comments, and if you have footage of the same thing or something similar, then definitely send us an email. Alright, so finally, I have some news to share with you guys. Paranormal investigators are looking into mysterious claims from a former U.S. military man where he says that he may have been abducted by aliens after being stalked by a UFO. The man, who has not been publicly named, filed a report with UFO investigators in which he claimed he experienced lost time during a nocturnal snowmobile ride through the woods in Ontonagon, Michigan. The alleged incident occurred on February 28th of 2018. In a witness report to the National UFO Reporting Center, New Fork, the anonymous military abductee stated that, and these are direct quotes, a light overpowered my headlights which made me stop and look behind me. I witnessed a solid white light with pinkish strobe lights on either side of the main white light in the middle. Together, they formed an oval saucer shape. The blinking lights had no rhythm. It was close enough to me that it lit up the entire ground and trees around me. I killed the snowmobile and the object made absolutely no noise whatsoever. It hovered silently, slowly moving up and down, and then it drifted far to the right and slowly moved away from me. I tried chasing it through the woods until it flew in a different direction that the trail went and I lost sight of it. Afterwards, he said that he called his wife to explain what had happened in the 10 minutes after he left her, and he said that she yelled at him and said that he had been gone for more than two hours. That's what the witness claimed anyway. The actual New Fork report reads, and again, these are direct quotes, An adult male, former military, was riding on his snowmobile when he came aware of a bright source of light that was illuminating from behind him and which illuminated quite brightly the area around him. The witness stopped the engine on the snowmobile, at which time he noticed behind him an object that seemed to be totally silent, which appeared to be moving slowly up and down. Although he was just a few minutes right from his home at the time of the sighting, he did not arrive there until two hours later, for which he had no explanation, and which had caused his wife a great deal of consternation. Alright, now, as you guys are almost certainly already aware, thousands of people every year claim to have been abducted by aliens. Some of them do it because they feel it's the truth and feel their stories need to be heard. Others do it for a grab at fame and attention, and some do it simply because they're under the influence of drugs and alcohol or a mental condition that leads them to believe an abduction really did take place. Now, as far as evidence of abductions go in the past, there has been evidence of these abductions, although it is scattered and very hard to piece together, and even more difficult to separate from the 95% of false claims that are received every year. That isn't to say that we should simply ignore these stories, especially not when a member of the U.S. Armed Forces comes forward with a story like this one. We need to take this a bit more seriously than we normally would with the regular abductee. It is entirely possible that what this man said is not what really happened, but his wife vouching for him for his missing time does indeed lend credence to the idea that something actually did happen to this man on the 28th of last month. But what was that something? Was this man really abducted by extraterrestrials? 
Hopefully, we'll find out more evidence on this case, and the identity of this man will be shared with the public, although I completely understand why he would choose to stay anonymous. Something like this would severely damage the man's reputation, since most people today think that people who see UFOs are crazy enough, and that those who claim a close encounter are on a whole different level of crazy. However, with all of these newly released Pentagon UFO clips, incredible witnesses and experiencers with credible backgrounds coming forward, it seems that this phenomenon is starting to become more accepted and maybe even making its way into the mainstream. What this phenomenon is, however, is highly debated, and at the moment, until we come up with solid answers supported by blatant facts, it is up to you to decide what you believe is going on. There seems to be no shortage of these types of sightings and witnesses coming forward, and it's getting more and more difficult to discredit them, so maybe we'll get some answers sooner than we think. Hopefully, there will be a thorough investigation done into this guy's sighting, and we'll get more information on it. If we do, I'll definitely let you guys know about it in a future video here on the channel, and I'll be working on digging up that information so I can share it with all of you. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, but stay tuned because there's a lot more coming, and we will have it posted very soon. If you liked the video, then please don't forget to smash that like button on your way out, share it, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. It really helps us out, and it'll let you guys stay up to date by sending you a message straight to your inbox every time we upload a video, so you can stay on the up and up with all the latest alternative news. Also, if you want updates on when our videos will be coming out, then please go follow our Facebook page. The link is down in the video description. If you have some UFO footage or evidence that you would like us to feature on the channel, then please email it over to us. Our email is down in the description as well, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for your support, guys. It means a lot to us. We love you, and don't forget to browse the channel if you're new and get yourself up to speed. As always, I'm Richard with Alien Bros, and I'll see you guys again next video.